Sagittarius, hello my lovely ones, how are you loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Sagittarius, welcome to September readings. This is the first reading that I am doing for September. Thank you for coming in and let's look into who is coming towards you, what is on the way towards you, could be a person on the way to you, could be a person you are leaving behind, could be a situation out there. Whatever comes first, whatever comes stronger, will be shared with you. As well, you know, September is the month of Virgo. Virgo speaks very strongly of organization, doing cleanups, doing things that you probably delayed. Now is the time for you to do the right thing on the right time organization organizing things putting things in order being more organized and so on as well this month for the sages whatever you say whatever you do it's quite noticeable to others and most likely for the sages who work in a field that are in the eye of people people will notice you more than usually they used to okay so be very careful how you conduct yourself, what you say to others, or how you say certain things. Because indeed here, you know, words, once they out, might not be taken away. Sagis, this is a general reading as usually we're doing here for Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus. My highly resonate with you, my be here and there message. But of course, if you are coming along, you do have a strong message. Let's see, an overarching energy for this time period and for this reading. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, and Magician. Are you manifesting new love? Are you manifesting abundance? Are you un manifesting the one? Or you just want to be happy? Because I see you manifesting here and I see you quite emotional in a very la la land energy here with this Ten of Cups and Ace of Cups. Coming new things you ask for? Well, sometimes the universe grant us this beautiful energies let's see what this is about and how you come to this for some of you yes indeed if you did manifest for quite a long time it's more likely something here you manifest in january even when we cross the years from 2021 to 2022 because i see here there's something here a long time you try to let's see Full. Seven of Wands, Tower. There is a journey for some of you that you're supposed to have it already, but for some reason you resisted. When there is resistance, let's come a tower. And the tower doesn't come just, hey, I want to mess up with you. The tower comes and tells you, no more resistance. Yes, many of you want certain things the cer certain ways, or your way, or no way, or whatever. The tower tells you, now is the time. The tower moment is now. Three of Cups, Page of Wands, High Priestess. You know, you know, now is the time. Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Swords. So here we are, loves. Here we are. For some of you, you have a surprise here from a specific person coming in forward. I have here water energy, Scorpio Pisces, could be Cancerian, and air energy, Gemini. 
could be as well an Aries. But let's see here, what's the tower here for? Knight of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. So there's something here that really comes in very slow. For some of you, a very small percentage, there is a Virgo or a Capricorn out there. But I feel here, it's kind of you, you wanted something in a way, but it's coming in a such way, you sense it's coming, but you don't see it, or you don't see the way it will come. The Seven of Wands here, Hermit, Virgo energy here, it's, it's more likely you, you asking like, why? I want this, why is not coming this way? Or do I really want this or I don't? Your intuition tells you, choose wisely. The Three of Cups, strength. Have faith because things are coming the right, the right way, in the right time. The Page of Swords here Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. So whatever it's coming in, comes in quick. And we have three Knights. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. Whoever comes, there is a single person towards you, loves. And could be very strongly your twin flame. I feel here there's a lot of communication restoring in the life of Sages. A lot of things here that probably didn't really move or didn't really go or you've been waiting to come and you're not quite sure or are resisting to, they start popping up. And for some of you, you might experience certain weird events. And weird, what I mean, like why my boss raised my salary now and not at the end of the year or why so early and not later or it's kind of you are entitled for double kind of so you you will feel like quite quite weird like why but now you see it for some of you there are certain people could be family members people you've been dealing they might pop up at your door and start talking to you like never happened, you know, a break or the silence or things like that. The page of wands here, which is you, you what choose, what you're going to do, okay? Because the choice is on you, the way you are gonna go or the way you choose to go so it's up to you loves one more card for this page of wands king of pentacles three of pentacles and the world because the way you put in effort, whatever it's that effort into, will move you in a whole new adventure, in a whole new world. For those Sages who really manifest this or a situation here for a long time, now you'll find yourself in a whole new environment, in a whole new energy 
and goodness. You'll feel like I never thought this, but here I am. And plain and simple, there is some Sagittarius who needs to choose between two people. And it seems quite a, quite a hard choice or a very, very strong choice. To do so. Also, I see some Sagis making new friendships, or there is a person who you probably had a conflict back then this month it's not like they ask for forgiveness or anything but it's kind of like let's go through this could be a family member that they want to work on the things and it could be a fixed zodiac sign i see taurus could be leo could be a scorpio or even an aquarius because with the world sign here there's something here that looks like a restoring energy. Let's see, the best advice. The best advice for my Sagittarians. Emperor. Five of Pentacles. Eight of Swords death six of wands seven of cups eight of pentacles and king of swords somebody here changed their mind or changed their ways of doing certain things if was in the past my way or no way they feel like they, with that behavior or that mentality, they're not going too far. And I see here, someone here is determined. It's kind of, I don't know how, but I'm willing to work things out. For some of you, Sagis, it's you. The way you work certain things in the past. Now you allow the opportunities to come, to come in and work through them with a clear or a crystal clear vision forward. As well, for some of you, Sagis, this month, either you will be tested how consistent you can be, either someone in your environment will be tested by you how consistent they can be. And consistency could be regards communication, regards whatever they say if they follow, and so on. And also there is a Sag here who will restore some sort of communication with someone they thought they lost for good or they never will see again. Well, certain things are coming up. Well, let's see. The advice what do we have here from the oracles? Stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. So someone indeed here will be tested how strong you are. And finding sanctuary. 
opening to your spiritual source. Pay attention to the science. Pay attention to the things that comes to you in a form of science. Science could be feathers, rocks, people, features, could be even dreams. Pay attention. Everything comes because there is a reason why. So, Sag, that is what is on the way to you, my loves. Pay attention. And, of course, if you really enjoy this reading or other readings on the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe, like, share, and I'll see all of you next time. And, of course, if you want to leave a comment, please do. Namaste.